Okay, hello there. I am Steve Keefe. I am the broker owner of Coldwell Banker Skyridge Realty. Uh, I service the mountain areas from Crestline all the way up to Big Bear, uh, including Lake Arrowhead. And uh, we've had some recent policy changes, practice changes, uh, as a result of the NAR settlement, where we treat buyer agreements differently than we have in the past. And so what I was asked to do was put together a quick consumer's guide with some commonly asked questions that buyers would have regarding written buyer agreements. So that's what we have here. Um, first up, I've got 10 frequently asked questions regarding the buyer agreements. Uh, first question is, why am I being asked to sign this? What is a buyer written buyer agreement? Why am I being asked to sign it? Are these agreements new? Are these agreements negotiable? How do I benefit from these agreements? When do I need to sign an agreement? Does this mean I have to pay out of pocket? Can I specify the type of relationship? And can I change or X an agreement once I enter into one? First question is, why am I being asked to sign this? So if you are a home buyer working with an agent who is a realtor, it means you are working with a professional ethically obligated to work in your best interest. As of recently, August 17th of this year, you will be asked to sign a written buyer agreement after you've chosen the professional you want to work with. Here's what you should know about those agreements. What is a written buyer agreement and what does it do? A written buyer agreement is an agreement between you, the buyer, and your real estate professional outlining the services your real estate professional will provide to you and what they will be paid for those services. Why am I being asked to sign an agreement? I've never had to do that before. Written buyer agreements became a nationwide requirement for real estate professionals as part of the National Association of Realtors proposed settlement of litigation related to broker commissions. The requirement went into effect a short time ago, August 17th of this year. Are these agreements new? In some places, yes. Many states have, have required them for years, while some have not. As a result, it is entirely possible you or others you know have not used them in the recent past. Regardless, they are now a nationwide requirement for many real estate professionals. California has always had buyer broker agreements, but they were never really utilized to the full extent. Are these agreements negotiable? Yes, that is a positive outcome of the NAR settlement. Compensation between you and your real estate professional is negotiable. It always has been. This just emphasizes that. In the written agreement, the compensation must be clearly defined and not open-ended or arranged. Make sure that you only sign an agreement that reflects what you have agreed to with your real estate professional. How does a buyer benefit from these, these agreements? These agreements clearly lay out what services you as a home buyer expect your real estate professional to provide and what your real estate professional will be paid. These agreements make things clear and reduce any potential confusion at the outside of your, outset of your relationship with your real estate professional. When do I need to sign an agreement? You will be asked to enter into a written buyer agreement with your real estate professional before touring a home with them, either in person or virtually. If, you sim if you're simply visiting an open house on your own or asking a real estate professional about their services, you will not need to sign a written buyer agreement at that time. Does this mean I have to pay my agent out of pocket? No, not necessarily. While you are responsible for paying your real estate professional as outlined by your agreement, you can still request, negotiate for, and receive compensation for your real estate professional from the seller or their agent, as it always has been. Does this agreement dictate a specific type of relationship I have to have with my agent? No, you are allowed to enter into any type of relationship with your real estate professional that is allowed by state law. Can I change or exit an agreement? Yes, you and your agent can mutually agree to change your agreement or cancel it 
Agreements may have specific, specific conditions under which they can be exited. So read the text of the agreement and speak with your real estate professional if you'd like to change or exit your agreement. I'm sure there are many other questions that you may have that may come up. I'm going to give you my contact information. You're welcome to send me a text, send me an email. If you have any questions regarding buyer broker agreements and have uh, need any kind of guidance or recommendations, please don't reach please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can.